Uh, my name is Doug Cruz. I'm executive director of the Missouri Press Association, and we represent about 288 newspapers in Missouri. Um, the Press Association has been in business since 1867, and um, one of my duties is to lobby in Jeff City on behalf of the Sunshine Law. Again, the Sunshine Law is just at the base of our government. It, it's so important uh, that we have the Sunshine Law. It's so important that we keep public officials on their toes. We, remind, we need to remind public officials that they're doing the work of their constituents, their people. Uh, when they get in office, those records all of a sudden don't belong to them exclusively. Um, those, they're doing the work of the people. They're, we're all stockholders in this country of ours, and they're our representatives, but we own the stock, and we want them to, uh, we want to know what they're doing uh, as far as leading the company. <laughs> so anyway, that's, um, it's just a, a basic tool that um, people need to know about, but it's a basic tool that the government officials need to, to have a background on too. And we also get, we see attacks on the Sunshine Law. For instance, uh, a couple of years ago, the Missouri County Collectors Association wanted to close down tax records and ultimately close down records in their office. Um, and they cited privacy reasons, but my gosh, um, I ought to be able to go in, my tax records, how much I pay in property taxes should be an open record. How much the, how much the mayor pays in property taxes should be an open record. And they were, they were wanting to close down this kind of information, which that information needs to be open in a free society. I need to know what my, what my neighbor is, is paying. I need to know what my neighbor, what their house is assessed at, for instance, this kind of thing. So that's why records at the courthouse need to be open. One thing we're seeing is more and more people are using the Sunshine Law, um, just ordinary citizens trying to, trying to get their government more open, and, and that's, a, that's a positive sign. But it wasn't written for the, for the media, although the media uses the law all the time but it's really written for the public. And I don't want to levy a large, I, you know, you could put the penalty a million dollars, but I think government in Missouri still sometimes thumbs its nose at the Sunshine Law because they know there's not much, there's not much there in the way of, of penalty. Where we'd like to see improvements made is, for instance, research fees. Uh, some, some public bodies require a large research fee if you want to get public records and in effect it just closes off public records from the public. Records that are owned by the public that are for the public but you can't get at them because you have to pay a, a large research fee to, to get those records. Um, that's one thing. They're just, there's a lot of stumbling blocks in our, I, I have to admit, in our law and uh, we'd like to see some changes made.